<laughs> good evening from me, and good evening from Minnie. Right, hope you all uh, got your masks on. Sean has. <laughs> we brought him along, we thought we needed a third wheel, so. It's not Sean, it's a Roger. Oh, Roger. <laughs> oh, it is Roger, isn't it? Yeah. I couldn't tell behind the mask. He's dead. It's not like a green I've got it all that. <laughs> right. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Fisherman's Retreat, and uh, I hope we have I hope you have a pleasant night at home. <clears throat> we usually uh, have these uh, nights in our big room, but uh, we decided to put one on tonight for those who are fed up with not going out, as quite a lot of us are. Anyway, um, first of all, uh, I'm Hervey. And James, my son, yeah. um, for those who don't know, uh, we've built a business up over the last 28 years and our, and that's how long we've been in, getting interested in whiskey. Um, we've been buying casts up in Scotland uh, for many years now um, and we've now started bottling uh, some of the editions. We're, on, we're coming up to our eighth edition which will be coming out in another couple of months. Yeah, we'll be trying one of them tonight as well, which is edition five, which is a little bit down the line. Um, but no, this is our first first step into virtual tasting. Um, we were hoping it wouldn't come to this. We were hoping we'd all get you back in the retreat and we could have a good knees up and everything else with you. But unfortunately, it's not the case. So uh, we're going to do our best on this thing. So bear with us because this is the first for us. We're as not well. film stars, but no. after tonight we might be. So uh, it kept wanting a makeup artist, but she never turned up. No, she didn't. Uh, she's got COVID. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> moving on. Um, we hope. Well, I'm going to say, hope everybody's received the kits uh, and you've all got the right whiskies and everything else. Um, we were having a drama too while we were packing them, so we're not sure if you've all got the right stuff or not. But hopefully, you have. <coughs> yeah. If anybody hasn't, uh, it's it goes next week. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, our first whiskey. Um, we're going to have Brookladdy. Um, by Isla Barley 2011 at 50% ABV and it's only six years of age you've got it there now I think you should have I hope you have and uh, we'll just try a drop of this with you go through it and try like and I've always said on our whiskey tasting one man's meat is another man's poison you may like it you may not um, I, I love it, you you might not love it. it, vice versa, you might love it, I might not. Now, anyway, uh, what I was going to say is that everybody might not have as many glasses as what we have. Um, I'm sure a few of you do, well, probably Mark and Lynn Swindles, who usually come to the uh, whiskey tasting. They're probably sat in the corner of the room right now, just so it feels like they're actually in the room with us as where they usually sit, I would imagine. Um, but yes, if, if, if you've not, maybe just try a little bit rather than tipping the whole thing in to start with and you can always revisit it later on um, or you can suck it and enjoy it whatever you want to do it's totally up to yourselves I always tell people to try the whiskey before they put water in there's nothing wrong with putting water in it's quite a, a noted thing all distillers will tell you it's actually made from water believe it or not so um, try it first see what you think and then um, add water to your taste if it's not if it's not there at this uh, strength or whatever it is. Okay, um, I tell that to everybody all through our whiskey tastings, which we've been doing over 20 years now. Um, try it first, then add a drop of water to your taste. Okay, yeah. so away we go. Cheers everybody, and let's hope 2021, I've lost 2020, um, 2021 is somewhat a better year. All the very best. Cheers. By hell, that's a cracking drum. That's beautiful. It's hell, six, it, hell. Oh, oh yes, I've got the uh, the swear jar as well ready. Oh, uh, yes. Well, you'll be needing your money. Doing our for uh, very hospice. Every time he swears, I'll put some money in it. And what about you? I won't swear. You won't. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. I brought you. I don't do that. That's good. Um, 
yeah, that's a, a beautiful whiskey. And like I said, 50% and six years old as well. Um, the barley from um, Isla. Yeah, all the barley's from Isla. There's six farms around Isla. Uh, they've selected what they wanted. They've used it. They've, they've come up with this stunning uh, 2011 Isla barley. Oh, oh come on. That's 2012. Is it? Yeah. No wonder it's good. It's, it's, it's 2012's good as well. <laughs> uh, someone's cocked us up here. Um, <laughs> 2012 is absolutely beautiful. You're tasting 2011, we're tasting 2012. Yes, well, I'm... Well, that's our, that's our producer's fired. <laughs> yeah. I think we're going to have to try the 2011 now. It's, it's, uh, oh, yeah, we are. Yeah. That was a prelude to the next one, anyway. That's... Yes. Um, these cock-ups happen on a regular basis at the Fisherman <laughs> Retreat. But soon as, soon as we, if you're on the tasting side of it, it doesn't matter if you cock up because you've got the other one to try. Well, so we, we, we just, must try the, the yeah. other one. We can compare for And it. you do know, don't you, that this is uh, this pump clip has uh, been made specially. We've got a, a, a small cask in for James and I, just so we could have... Uh, hold on. He's gone. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yes, yes. Cheers, everybody. There's a pint waiting for you when you come in. You'll have to pay for it, but there is a pint on here. And I just said it'd be a shame. I'm trying to sit a pint for three three months. Been dying for a pint, and we've had a month. We needed a cheers. <clears throat> so, and our pump clip is. Can you all see it? Can it you may see be backwards. It it's not a dyslexic person that's done it. It's just coming backwards on the Facebook thing. Is it? Yes. Right. It Angling. still says the same. Yeah, it's two, two meters, meters apart. apart. And so we are into government, government guidance, public. you know. Yeah. Um, w James and I aren't two meters apart because uh, we're in a, a little bubble up here in the uh, the uh, fishermen's. We've got the valley. James is at one end of the valley, 200 yards down, and we've formed our own little bubble. That's why I've not got masks on and we're not two meters apart. It is a short two meters, is that, anyway. Anyway, good health everybody. Are we trying it? Well, we've got to try it well, because everybody it. else is trying yeah. it, so we, so we we should try it as well. We, <coughs> we'll be rude right. not to. Right, cock up that word. It were, it were a bit of a bad start, that really, weren't it? Can we reset it and do it again? <laughs> do you know that's even nicer? Is it? Yeah. Better than the 12? Yeah. Well, I've got I'm more of the cell to, 12 to sell, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, never mind. Good health everybody. Well, we'll, we'll start again. This is the 2011. Yeah. You were talking about six farms on Isla. I was. So the 2011 is actually six farms on Isla, uh, where the barley is uh, grown and produced for, for Plady. Um And they actually send uh, the barley, a lot of the barley, off over to Inverness um, uh, to be malted. To be malted at the moment. And they're looking actually at um, building their own maltings at Plady. Uh, now they're probably back by Remy, they've got a, a bit of money in the back pocket to probably do what they like um, and get away with it. But uh, yeah, it's really, really nice. The 2012, which we just tasted, is um, that's actually barley sourced from eight farms on Isla, um, which is the next release is a 2012. 2011, um, there's not many about now, and if you enjoy that, you want to get your hands on some. We have some available. Um, How much is it, James? <coughs> oh, I've got it somewhere. 48, I think. I think we've got it on 48 tonight. For, That's too cheap for that. Well, there you are. So, see, it's on 48 pounds uh, tonight um, on a special offer, but there's hardly any of it left that we've got. And there is some others available, but I think we've got the cheapest price that's available at the moment uh, for that one. But just uh, send us some comments, let us know what you think. Um, I don't know if I can read them on this thing here, but... Um, we've got, I, a, uh, we've got a, a secretary um, based down at the bottom there, um, at James's house, and we've got uh, James's wife here. She's going through things as well, so she can... Uh, she shall respond. Respo she will respond. She will respond. She's a good respondent. She's an executive she? producer this yes, season. she is. She is. Anyway... Um, right, a little bit about Rukladi. It was built in uh, 18, hold on, 1881. It started, and uh, it went. It was built by the Harvey brothers, uh, who were distillers and malters in uh, Glasgow. Now, uh, 
it, it's had a chequered history, just like lots and lots of other uh, distilleries. Um, it, it's changed hands in 37, 54, um, 68 and 80. Uh, it became part of, in 1980, it became part of White and Mackay's uh, through an amalgamation of companies. And then um, it went in mothballs in the 90s and uh, it, it actually, it, that's a very sad thing, I stood out the, outside the gates in 2000 and I said this one's buying. Anyway somebody beat me and Ken to it, Ken who used to do the whiskey tastings with me and a conglomerate of Isla uh, businessmen who live on Isla and uh, they got together, got six million together with a wine merchant in, uh, um, from London whose name eludes me at this present time and uh, it marked somebody and uh, they gave James McEwen the job of head distiller and bringing Brucladi back to life which he has done in a very, very wonderful way one of the finest distillers that I've ever met um, he's, he's, he is a personal friend of mine now and uh, over 21 years that I've known him and he produced some fabulous whiskies and he's a great showman as well. When he, he's been down here many times to uh, do our whiskey tastings. And then in 2012, Remy Martin bought them out. So from six million they paid in 2000, in 2012 they were bought out by Remy for 57 million. So I'm falling over already. So, somebody made a handsome profit, good on them, uh, that's what it did, but it was down mainly to Jim and the local population doing a fabulous job um, and bringing Brucladdy back to life. We've several casts in Brucladdy, we've uh, been bottling, some of our earlier editions uh, were from Brucladdy, um, also Aaron, and what we are doing um, I'll, I'll go on to the next whiskey, I think, shortly. Um, we'll, we'll go on to that next whiskey, James. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold on to you. What is it now, Colin? It's uh, Glen Get Farkless right one. For 105. Glen Farkless 105. Um, That's a cracking round. Uh, round. It is, it's beautiful. Any positive comments? Do we know? Yes. Oh, good. That's good. So, uh, a lot of you looking like you like that one uh, and enjoying it. It's a beautiful one to start on. Um, as you can see, the colours do get darker as they go along. Um, and so then, a very light and whiskey was that. So, this is the Glen Farkless 105. If you'd like to pour it. Now your last one was at 50%. This is at 60% ABV. I think you may need a drop of water in this, but try it anyway, just a tad, and then uh, add your water to your own taste. The beauty about buying a bottle of uh, any cast strength whiskey is you actually, you will dilute it to a certain amount. Most people will. There's the odd, you know, really tough guys that say, oh no, I don't take water at all. Um, Gobshites, I call them, but that's another thing. Um, <clears throat> everybody to his own. I like a drop of water with it, but the beauty about buying a, a cast strength bottle is it will last you a little longer because you put a certain amount of water in, at least, you know, 10% or, or something like that. So it does... Uh, increase your bottle size. Right, Glen Farkless, 60%. Colour, deep, peaty gold, complex, orchid. These are uh, uh, tasting, uh, notes. tasting notes from uh, experts. Obviously, we're not experts, we're just. Uh, we're, we're in it with you, we're trying them. We're, we're just trolling it. through it, you know, how we do. <clears throat> anyway, we're in your drama, and hopefully, a bit of crack along the way. Yeah, complex, orchid, apple, orchid, apples, and pears, and tempting dark toffee sweetness 
Flavour, dry and assertive, develops quickly to reveal a rich spiciness combined with a hint of hawk and a sherried fruit. Finish, amazingly smooth on the, for the strength, wonderfully warming with a lingering smokiness, yet very rounded. Would well, agree? well is it, do you these, agree uh, with that yeah, sort the, of uh, these, uh, like description? Like is the, this is a little sherry bomb um, and, and then the Glendronic 21, which we're going to be trying a little bit later, is another sherry bomb. So these have been aged in sherry casks all their lives. I think it's uh, Pedro Jimenez uh, and Oloroso casks. Uh, the 105, um, I think it was 1968. Uh, it was first uh, brought to life by one of the Grants. And the, um, they did it actually, I think, as a, as a Christmas treat for the family. Um, and the family loved it that much that it, it became one of the part of the core range uh, over the over the next few years. Um, so it's it's batted together with uh, a few different um, mm -hmm. ages of malt. So there's there's a rumor. Well, there's not a rumor. It's possibly five. Well, it's between about eight and ten years old. So it's a young whiskey. Uh, and they vat these whiskies together, and this is what they come up with. And they do a cracking job of keeping this 105 more or less exactly the same by batting all these whiskies to zero. So, so every year they'll vat a load of these whiskies together and they'll come out with damn near enough the same sort of whiskey, if you will. It's it, the, the same character, the same structure, and always at 60%. So, always to get it at 60% is a feat in itself without adding water. So they they really switched on at what they do. All all these distillers are, but um, for for what they produce here, for not a, not an overly expensive uh, bottle of whiskey, it, it is it's really beautifully sherried at sixty percent. I I I don't need to add any water, but I'm going to try a little bit of water uh, with this one uh, just just to see how it brings it out. But yeah, I can drink this easily without water. Well, I'm surprised I can, uh, but I have added a tiny drop, and it has the water does actually change the taste slightly. Don't put too much in. We're using a pipette, as you can probably see. We're, we're professionals. <laughs> we're, we're so called. <laughs> uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, don't professional. No, 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 no. <laughs> we're professional pipette users. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Glen Farkless started life as an illicit distillery, uh, farm distillery, in 1790. And uh, until 1836 when the uh, excise men caught up with them and they had to get a licence. Um, in 1865, it was uh, after the death of the then owner, uh, who was Robert Hayes, um, it was bought by the Grant family and is still owned by them now. So um, it's it's a long time in the same family, and these it proves it with the uh, quality of uh, you know additions like this. Absolutely brilliant, very nice. That hope you all like that one. Cheers, one oh five Glen Farkless. We've got a, a price on that this evening. Um, Forty two pounds this evening, so it's a bargain this evening. It's a one off for this whiskey tasting. Usually 50, um, so we're doing you a good deal on that. Uh, go online, all these whiskers are available online. If you like it, you can go on there, buy it. Um, hopefully I'll have to order some more in. So I can and don't forget, more. we have been close, so if you'd rather pay 50, it would <laughs> help at the things at this end of the uh, of the line. It really would, because we've been shut for uh, no, eight since months. Since November, nine well, months. Yeah. Nine nine months, months now. Well, yeah. yeah. Even as everybody else has, we're not the only ones, we're all in the same boat. But well, we're just trying to uh, get a few things rolling on. Anyway, moving on. I said I'd tell you something else. All these whiskies behind us are all open. And we, James came up with the idea, why don't we sell these whiskies, Dad, worldwide? I said, yeah, well, he said, why don't we sell them by the dram outside? And I said, yeah, we could. We could just send them and post them out. What do you think? And uh, it came about, and we we tried. We posted it, and people started buying them. Now you can buy any dram you want, any dram we've got open, up to a probably a thousand pound a bottle. People can't afford. Not everybody can afford a thousand pound bottle, 
but they probably love to taste it. It's like, there's a lot of collectors out there that'll buy a bottle and they'll never try it. Well, hopefully we'll give them the opportunity. Yeah, we will that. So, <clears throat> and if you buy something like a thousand pound or something like that, you would get a 50 mil shot delivered with it, totally free. God, we're if we've so got one benevolent. Over. If we've got yes, one, yes, over. yes, yeah, yes. Over. yes. We'd soon hope. Well, we will. Well, yeah, I'll yeah, taste well, it. Well, I'll, yes, yes. Anyway, um, so every shot, every bottle behind here, and others besides, uh, open for 50 mil drams. We will send it to your door uh, with postage and packing uh, as well, in, not included, um, <laughs> extra. But Look out for the deals because sometimes so we do do. Go on our website and you will see uh, what we can do and what we can't do. So that's uh, something, and we can send them worldwide. Now another thing is, you can send somebody a present of one or the other. So don't forget that, you know, it's, we can send it to whoever. Excluding America and North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kim Jong-un doesn't like it. Yeah, <coughs> I bet he does. He probably does, yeah, he's got his own, Yeah, no, so yeah, if you want to send us a, a few comments through, I see some coming up on the screen here. I, we were a bit far away to read them all because it's coming up, but um, keep keep sending them, um, and we'll get a, a we'll see if you know if you're liking it, if you're not liking it, and we'll get a thumbs up from the executive. Ex ex I'll say that again, executive producer, uh, or a thumbs down. We'll see. Oh, thumbs up, thumbs up. Everyone seems to be liking that. Um, good, good. It's it is. It's a beautiful jam, and, and like I said, to to keep really it nice. the same for. Well, since the late sixties, once it once it was produced, to keep it at that same, um, and it's one oh five as well. I don't think we mentioned one oh five was the proof at the time. So obviously, now it's uh, it's ABV, which is sixty percent. So um, back in the day, it was one hundred and five percent proof. So um, that is hence the name, uh, and no age statement. I do believe there is some age statement stuff out there, but I think. I'm not sure how long ago that was, but there was some 10 year old stuff out there and, and bits and pieces. But now, uh, I think the UK market is just no age statement. So the the youngest in there, the saying is around about eight years old, the oldest 10, could be 12, who knows? It, it depends what they've batted together, but it's a beautiful drink. They can only put, even if they were doing an age statement, if they put a range of whiskies, uh, say from eight to 15 years of age, uh, and vatted them together, um, they can only put eight years of age. Of age. They can't put the 15 they can't put the 14. Oldest, no, they, yes. no, it's always got to be the what the youngest is. And hence they don't usually put age statements on that. No. Some, some, some whiskies could have, or, or some distillers could have put very young whiskey in there, which would be five years old or... Uh, three years old even which then it can be called after three years in a barrel it can be called single malt whiskey but until three years in the barrel they can't call it that mm -hmm. and we've got a message happy birthday Adam Thompson uh, James Bergen as well <coughs> that right? or from James Bergen and James Bergen there we go oh, right. happy birthday uh, have a jam on us uh, we have some people on zoom with, you with, know it's Jill with, with dual purpose here this evening. We've some people on FaceTime, well a lot of people on FaceTime, and we've got some people on Zoom. And what I see is, um, if I'm right, and you used to be my neighbour Elizabeth, did you not? You did, you yes I know. I can't hear her, but... I'm not, I can't hear I'm lip reading. <laughs> anyway, I, it is Elizabeth, and is that Joanne Geddes? A Joanne, which Joanne is it? I got you now, yes. I know, yeah, right. Just checking. I'd just like to know who's, uh, who's on there. Yeah, no, that's fine. Anyway, we, nice we, to see you all. We, we well, multi, to see you two. Multi and, uh, screening at the moment. Yeah, we're multi screening. We're multi purposing. They said, I'm surprised the internet's that. holding up up here, to be honest. I, yeah, mean, I, I thought we'd have been off by now. I thought we could have gone home, but <laughs> <laughs> we're still here. Yeah, oh, well. never mind. Never mind. <laughs> we're nearly halfway. But. So the next whiskey, oh, I'll put it back over there. There we are. Ah, I do believe we're going with this one. I haven't got a note for that one. I thought it'd be on one. No, 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 we've missed that one. 
have we? Well, we've not missed it, it's the next one. But you right. don't need notes for this, because this is our own. I list. know, I'm just checking. Oh, right, I see, you haven't given me any. No, no, right. no. Okay. It's all right, in um, <clears throat> Edition number five. Yeah. Right, no, yeah, just a reminder, just in case you forgot. Thanks, man. <coughs> yeah. Port Brion, that's it. This cask, we laid this down. Oh, um, Excuse me a moment. Can I talk? Ten years, it's ten years ago, not ten years ago, but it is aged ten years in a Hort Brion cask. That's a French wine cask of very high uh, quality, and uh, we it became our number five edition. Um, November two thousand and eight, it was actually laid down, and we did um, bottle it just into two thousand and nineteen. I think. Anyway. Um, it's a beautiful dram. It, if it wasn't beautiful, we wouldn't put it in a bottle. Um, all our, <coughs> most of our <coughs> wine ca uh, casts now are from X wine casts, and we put it in wine right from the start. We don't put it into bourbon. Uh, we. Um, I think we should do, they finish a lot of uh, whiskey in wine or sherry or this or that or whatever <coughs> and they always tend, tend to put, the bulk of distilleries tend to put um, whiskey, their new made whiskey um, into bourbon casks. So I thought I'd book the trend a few years ago and started imported some casks from Yolumba Winery out in uh, the Barossa Valley in Australia and we had, we had a chance of a couple of um, French good wet red wine casks which this is one and with many now coming through uh, in another few months we'll have a Viognier cask which is a white wine um, Yolumba Viognier is absolutely beautiful uh, white wine I laid some whiskey down in that, uh, I think it's 2012 or 13, and I'm going to extract the a cask uh, this next few weeks, in actual fact. And we will bottle it, and that will become our number eight edition. Uh, it'll be put down to about 50%. Um, in It's at 59 just now, um, from the sample we've had. And uh, it's, it's going to be quite... Well, I find it a very nice sweet wine, very light in colour, um, but you'll see when, you, when, you, when we launch it, you'll all get a chance to buy some uh, and taste it. So uh, this is number five, I digressed a little I'm afraid, but uh, James has uh, produced a bottle. Yes, uh, everybody side. that has, has, has ordered a pack um, we did have the tipsy pop, uh, tipsy porridge op option. Uh, so if you've got a bottle of tipsy porridge, now is a, a time to open that tipsy porridge, get it in a glass, and compare it with this whiskey. Because this tipsy porridge is being in the cast that this whiskey was in, and it's been it about six months, um, and then we bottled it, and it's come out at uh, six, was it, you know, just five point nine percent, just short of six percent. And um, it's really taken on the whiskey flavour. It's it's we we just sold out actually. We just had enough for what we were sending out on the uh, whiskey tasting tonight, and managed to keep two back for ourselves. But um, beautiful, yeah. If you want to try the whiskey first, um, see what you think of that, and then uh, also just enjoy the tipsy oh, as does. well. Um, but it's it, yeah, it's. It's enhanced the the stout in uh, that we put in there, and uh, it's it's really made a beautiful drink. Um, so enjoy. So every every cast that comes back from uh, Scotland after it's been bottled, we uh, get our local brewer, uh, who's um, what's it called? James. It's yeah, Deeply yeah. Vale. Deeply Vale. Brewery. Deeply Vale Brewery uh, in Bury, based in Bury, and he makes us a beautiful stout on its own. <laughs> but we make it better. We put it in our whisky cask, and uh, this has been in six months. The previous one, we left a bit longer, and it was 12 months, uh, just over. 
and that came out at 10.5. Anyway, uh, those who bought it, we haven't seen them since. No, 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 no. Um, no. But this one, 5.6 uh, or 8, something like that, absolutely stunning, beautiful. Oh, what's your drive? Um, tipsy porridge. Um, it's a lovely stout. If you like stout, it's not everybody's cup of tea. But um, we have just done another bottling of tipsy porridge, which is coming out shortly. Um, we're just waiting on it labels being labelled up and that is coming out at 8%. So anybody who likes a strong drink just before, can I just say that you, if you're thinking of having two or three bottles of this, uh, you're as well to drink it in your bedroom and you can just fall into straight into bed. Um, that's the best um, advice I Have can give Have someone underneath you. Well, it no, be better, yeah. steady on. Steady on. <laughs> don't so, don't so, 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 cut in the fall. The family, cut in the uh, fall. No, it's not. We said 18 is over. So if any children are watching, you shouldn't be. Um, anyway. Anyway. So that's our tipsy porridge. That's and it it comes out of the Hawk Brian cask, and the next edition is coming out of a Riv Salts cask. And it's already bottled and will be on sale in the next few weeks. Now then. What do you think? Any comments about our number five? Some of you will have already tasted this and bought bottles and one thing and another. I, being biased, think it's marvellous. What do you think, son? I think it's beautiful. I, I tried this I'd, the other day. Um, we were in here, we've been outside in the cold weather doing some work. And oh. We come in and we sat in front of the fire, we've got the fire going. And my dad poured two of these. Uh, larger, quite larger, and um, well, it's we, up. yeah, so we, so we pulled two of these, come and sat down in front of the fire, and uh, I hadn't had one for a few weeks, maybe possibly. Uh, as soon as I noticed it, I got aniseed. It was, it was, it was so strong with the an aniseed flavour. And I, I'm no expert. I'm, I, you know, I enjoy drinking whiskey. I know what I like. I'm, I, I wouldn't, you know, I, I don't. Say I, I can pick this, that, and everything else out that the tasting notes say, but I know what I like and I know what I enjoy. Uh, and this and uh, this one, literally 50% and 54 percent. This one, so it's a bit stronger than what we've been releasing on that. Um, is is just beautiful. And again, it, I can drink this without water, um, uh, but again, a little bit of water will soften it up and make it even smoother. So. It's up to yourselves. I try it again, and there's it's, it's a chance to add it. Yeah, you design. can do it. But yeah. again, this um, we're getting to the end of this now. So edition five is is sadly going to be gone very soon. Depends how many of you buy it this evening. But um, it's it should be uh, it, yeah, it should be eighty five, and we I think we're going to do an offer for fifty because we've got it at fifty in the three pack that we've been doing. So. Um, we're going to offer it out at 50 tonight. So we've only literally got a dozen bottles of this left to sell now. So um, if you do enjoy it, if you do like should it. should go up as if we get less. Well, this is true, but Not seeing as these nice people have joined us this evening, we're, we're giving we'll them give you a good chance. Yes. And we will be, uh, you've all, or should have, all have got a raffle ticket in your pack. Keep that safe. Um, because we will be raffling. What's the prize, James? For uh, there's a there's a couple of bottles and uh, a couple uh, of shots to win on here, which we can ship out to you or deliver locally if you're local. Um, we've oh, got yeah. the state of the art uh, drawing machine, uh, which we'll bring on later on. Honestly, you, you'll not be uh, you'll not be unimpressed. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you will be impressed. That's <laughs> the, um, so yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be doing that at the end of the evening. Um, hopefully, yeah, you should all have a number uh, on your box. You've got a tasting card in there as well, which hopefully you can go through and mark off um, what you're enjoying and what you're not enjoying. And again, even you know, at the end of the night, you can take a picture of it, send it to us, and, and we can get a bit of feedback on what you think. He's not saying much, is he? He's not took his mask off yet. Yeah, he's, 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 he's two meters apart, him. 
Men det är det vi. He's not moved either. No, he no, no, can't. Can. No, he can't. No, he can't. So, what, uh, are we getting a thumbs up or a thumbs down for edition? Oh, thumbs up. We're getting the thumbs up for the edition five. That's. Uh, right. How that's was that, Elizabeth and Joanna? All right. It's, yes. Good. Yes. Fine. We've got a We're wave. All good. We're all good. As long as we don't get the V sound, we'll be alright. We'll understand. Well, they've not turned off yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, I like this uh, job. I think I might take this job on regularly. Well, we don't have to throw anyone out at the end of the night. No, we we don't. <laughs> Just throw ourselves out. We've normally got Ian here. Ian. A good friend of ours, he normally comes up yeah, and helps but call this too. Yeah. But he also he's likes probably watching. Watch. Don't say so much. No, he is watching. Watch. I do oh, know. I right. say he normally enjoys right. a whiskey or two as well. Yeah, he's it's, always ready with to every one he calls. He, he drives <laughs> one as well. So um, we end up carrying him out. He's been a bit bouncer. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it's uh, and Gus. We, we we've not had Gus this evening. As you heard, we had some pipe music. Did you hear that pipe music? I thought Gus were playing it. They were bloody awful, weren't you? <laughs> Excuse me, put 50p in the uh, bucket. Oh, Christ. No. Yes. That's the first one, isn't I it? I swore. It's Christ yes. as well. I've been I told, know, yeah. just before I left home, my wife said, no swearing. <laughs> be be respectful. I have been. And uh, just be careful that you don't say anything, you know. Um, you shouldn't. That I shouldn't, yeah. Mm. Uh, what they call it nowadays. Um, swearing. No, PC. 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 Yeah. PC. Well, when we're in fishermen's in that room, we're not PC. PC isn't up here. Well, it's, it's most not. of the you know that come to the whiskey tasting. My dad thrives on a little bit of uh, crack, crack, and a bit of aggravation. Like the crack. We just need a, a someone sat in corner giving him some welly, welly. Yeah, I'm gonna say shit, but no, <laughs> there we go. Um, <laughs> And he could have a go at them, but we're just missing that at the moment. Yeah, we are. Oh, um, so we might go yeah. live, you know. Yeah. We might go live and have you all coming in on the, on this Zoom thing. So, But we can shut you off. Yeah, we can I don't have to curse you or threaten to throw you out. I can just press the button and you're gone. So, anyway, moving on. Did you all enjoy the uh, number five? Yes, we had yes, a thumbs, we've up. Had a thumbs we had up. up. So we're right. Good. Well, all right, Elizabeth. Yes, you said so. And Joanne, you were right. Yes, that's good. Fine. Keep coming. Keep on coming. Oh, oh. We're, on. we're all right. We're good for time. We're good for time. Oh, we're plenty of time. We're all right. Oh, we're all right. That's number three, isn't it? Yes. We're going to have to pace ourselves a bit, James. Oh. We're rushing a bit. We don't usually do this. We need to... What's it? There we go. That's... This is... Oh, I've I put it back there. No, i put it there. Come on. Glenn Drummond, 21. Not like a 21 year old. Oh, we're back to Gus actually, back to Gus the Pine. Oh, hi, Gus. He's, uh, He's uh, most of the time. We held a whiskey festival once here with Gus the Piper. Yes. Gus likes a drink as well. Yes. He does. And, <laughs> and one time there's a whiskey festival, uh, Gus enjoyed a little bit too much whiskey. So he was in full Scottish regalia with his pipes. Um, by the end of it, I don't think he knew where he was or who he was, but he ended up going down into Ramsbottom um, in a taxi, and he played his bagpipes into the taxi. I think he played his bagpipes all the way down to Ramsbottom in the taxi. And then also, he got into Ramsbottom, and he managed to get himself banned from every pub in Ramsbottom. <laughs> he went in every pub, then he went to, to playing the bagpipes. Yeah, what's that one? Which didn't like. Um, not wide, him, to the one. Red, red, uh, red, red, red line. Red he went line, there, yeah. and he met. He got he ended up in Yorkshire. I don't know how he got there, but he ended up in Yorkshire. Went into Red Lion, and uh, <clears throat> he got bad out of there. He walked all around pub, paying bad pipes. <laughs> and Carl, who was the manager then, uh, promptly threw him out. <clears throat> yeah. He's not been in since. No, no. I, I think he. Uh, well, he's be. a lovely chap, he's got but He is. Well, he's he's just playing his pipes too much. Oh, <laughs> what? Bloody hell. <coughs> anyway, I said piss, you better put one in. Twice. I've said no, it now. Twice. No. Forgot that one. These are, this, anyway. is, this is for Bury Hospice. You know, we are getting. Oh, more we swear, the better Bury Hospice does. We're, we're getting. Uh, Slightly tipsy now because it, and the, the words are flowing a lot better than when we first came on. We were stuttering, you know. We're not used to public engagements like this. No, it's been very um, well. Nine, well, nine, nine years, years before, you know. He's, no, uh, he's a bit shy, I James. He asked everyone else, and no one had come, so I had to be here. <laughs> 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 
They couldn't. Oh, they couldn't. That's they right. They couldn't. COVID. Uh, it's uh, COVID. They yeah. couldn't be two metres apart. No. They had to no. be two metres apart. No, well, they, they, they wouldn't have got them on camera. No, but we've got two I'd have been here and they'd have been over there. This is true. No good. This is true. We've got no good two cameras. Well, yes. Are we, are we trying the next one? Are we... I don't know, I feel like a rest of <laughs> okay. Well, this is when you talk amongst yourselves now. I know, it? this is it. We've had we to keep that, going. Don't we? We've got, we said, right, talk among yourselves for five minutes, but when, we, when I get on the mic, you shut up. And you know, it's great, really, because I don't have to shut them up. No, never. no, no one have to They're do anything. silent as lambs, though. We could have pre-recorded it, actually, couldn't we? We could. We could have. I hope you're filming this. It's going on YouTube <laughs> after, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. What are we on? Glendronach 21. Oh, Glendronach. So another sherry bomb. Oh, beautiful this. Glendronach is a beautiful uh, distillery. It have is. Been? I have. Oh, good. I thought you were lying. <laughs> no, they were shot. Oh, no. Well, no. I've been. I've been. We talked to a, a lovely lady there who was like the caretaker at that time. And uh, she gave us tea on the lawn. Oh. That's all she could do, just brew up. She was a brew lady, I think, a cleaner. Mm. And uh, it was built in 1771. Um, again, a checkered history. Do you know, you've got all these dates of changing hands and one thing and another. And uh, 1826, then it changed again in 1830, 1860 again. And it's just the largest, Glendronach was the largest duty paying distillery in the Scottish Islands in 1920. So, 1920, 1960, 1996, it was mothballed in 2002 and now it's been taken over and is producing again. <coughs> it's had many, many owners as this. Let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. About twelve or thirteen times it's changed hands in what a hundred and fifty years. Mm. Yeah, it's a great shame, but a beautiful dram. Um, and as um, whiskey has gone this last few years, uh, and is still going. <coughs> excuse me. Don't cough, Christ, the, don't cough. Oh, Everyone no. will wonder what's going on. No, I've got COVID. Oh, I've got a cough. He's had his injection, he's all right. I've had my injection and I'm, uh, I'm 40 years I've had this cough. So mm. I always have a grumble in the throat. Um, anyway, it's an absolutely beautiful distillery. If you ever go, if we ever get out of COVID, you can go to Scotland if Nicola will let you come up. Um, <laughs> I've had to get a special dispensation to go and get my whiskey next in the next few weeks. Um, I talked to Nicola, but it was useless. It, it, she thought I were Boris. Anyway, um, Glendronach. Go. It's great. It's a lovely distillery and a beautiful dram. We've been buying quite a bit in of late, haven't we? Yes. And we've sent it... Uh, across the world um, we know we've got an online shop where you can sell, send a bottle of whiskey to any country in the world apart from America, America and North, and North Korea, Korea <laughs> and uh, Russia Russia ah Russia is Russia yeah, Russia James had to take a bottle two, two bottles, bottles two I James had to take a bottle listen to this who do we use for you? UPS UPS they wouldn't insure it it were a, a a very very expensive bottle. I'm not telling you how much it was. It was a very expensive bottle. It was cheaper for James to take it to a Russian in France. It sounds himself. a bit dodgy. <laughs> no, he got away. He's, he's, oh, he's, he's all right. He's all right. right. He, uh, oh, I thought he was Russian. Oh no. Anyway, uh, it was cheaper to take it. He went. He drove down to Portsmouth, crossed the ferry down to Cannes, and then came up. Did his delivery and then on through the channel tunnel in 24 hours. Back, were it 24 hours? Yeah, more it? or less. Yeah, something more like that. And it was cheaper to take it that way with the insu be, uh, not paying the insurance that UPS would. They wanted to, because this particular bottle had gone up in price and uh, rarity, it was quite an expensive bottle. So our James went to France last January, didn't you? 
I did. You won not yeah. And you can't no. speak French, can you? Not at all. Oh, I'm no, worried no. about it. I managed. I'm worried I'm about it. I just about managed. But he did. He did. Je suis anglais. So long as you said that, That's you're it. all right. Yes. Well, I did. I said that. Yeah? They didn't know what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted Because you said it in a Lancashire accent. Right, right, well, anyway. Yeah. Right. Um, what are we on? 21 uh, on uh, Parliament. It's, Bloody it's, lovely. Uh, it's called Parliament. Anyone know why it's called Parliament? They drink it in the Houses of Parliament. No. No, right. You're wrong. Oh. I thought you were a whiskey expert. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't know what they're um, going to do with the whiskey. Parliament. Um, it's to do with rooks. Uh, a parliament of rooks, mm-hmm. believe it or not. Um, near Glendronach. Rooks. Uh, rooks. 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 R double O K S. Well, you know what I mean. I think anyway. Rooks. So it's uh, there's there's a big nesting site near Glendronach. There is, and I saw the roots. But that's why it is called Parliament. Is it? That is, it's, it's nothing to do with Parliament. It's, it's nothing. The roots. It's not political. It's the moment. roots. It's the roots. Right. Well, so so there you go. It's it's the roots. It's not. Uh, James, now he's a rook expert. I am more so than a rook expert. But that's uh, that's why it's called Parliament. Uh, nothing nothing to do with uh, the Houses of Parliament or anything along them lines. Maurice, uh, someone must have looked out at window one day and said, "What should we call this twenty-one-year-old?" We'll call it Parliament. And roots are just going past. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, um, so uh, that's why it's called. And again, this this is forty-eight percent. I think this one is um, forty-eight percent. And how much is it, James? Uh, 125 pounds a bottle. Is that you haven't put that on? 125 pounds a bottle, have you? My I God! I think I did. It's a bit much, that. Well, I know. Well, to send no. out to they, they don't appreciate it. Well, this, <laughs> this is the thing, you see. We're, we're giving them a nice bottle. Well, not a bottle. A, a, Who a wants shop. to buy a £125 bottle? Of, but what is it normally? That's what we need to know. I think this evening it's £125. Oh, the executive producer's not very good. 131 normally. So 125, probably yeah, one of the cheapest prices. Off. Not your six quid off. Cheapest prices in the UK. I'd rather you come and pick it up than both. <laughs> <it. laughs> yeah. All right, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll sort that out. <coughs> but yes, yeah, again, this evening available from, and you'll not honestly, once this is gone, uh, it'll go, I don't know when the next release of 21 is coming out. Um, yeah, it's when Rooks land. <laughs> yes, yes, when they've yeah. got rid of all of them. Um, but no, it's it's a beautiful and, and and the things I've noticed on the tasting notes um, with the Glendronic is that it's it's actually quite down to earth and and rather than a, a, a dew drop on freshly mown lawn, who's ever been out and tasted a dew drop on a freshly mown lawn? Because I haven't. But well, quite a this, few uh, virgins, aren't you? Well, <laughs> Um, yes, um, but this one is is pretty down to earth. It's uh, a deli- delicate mix of ripe autumnal fruits, notably blackberries and red plums, rich oloroso sherry and candied orange segments. And uh, this, from all these that we're tasting tonight, this is the um, most down to earth tasting notes that I've seen. It's uh, it's straightforward. It's 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 hitting the fact that it's been in oloroso and uh, five mil. Um, Pedro Jimenez chef. Uh, twenty five mil. Trying to, you need to be quiet. I'm trying to, trying keep to look going, at the keep screen. Going, keep going. I'm talking to the director. Oh Christ! The director. When they get involved, she was saying go, something in the ear. This thing in yeah, the ear. Yeah. Um, coming through. But no, this this is this is the most down to earth tasting now. So I mean, right. it, it, it's <clears> expressing <throat> what the the whiskey's been in. It, it's saying, you know, this is what you're going to taste. This is, it's the hints of the Oloroso and the Pedro and the, and it's really really down to it. Now I'm not a massive sherry fan. I, I like something that's finishing a sherry. Um, something that's really aged in sherry I'm, I'm not massively keen on. But this 21 is really nice. It is. I, I it really is. enjoy it. it. Um, all, uh, those, all those who liked it, put your hands up. Oh, well, there's, oh, how yeah, you got there? Oh. Right, we cracked it. Joanne yeah. likes it and Elizabeth likes it, that's fine. Elizabeth, you're getting some red, rosy red cheeks there, I see. <laughs> <laughs> you little monkey. <laughs> oh dear, there we go. But the, right. I don't know, have we got a thumbs up for the, 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 yeah. the parliament yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. It is, it's good. That's good. Yeah. I even got, I did two sheets on that one. Did you? I did. Not all oh, that. I saw you did. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's doing really well anyway. They're producing some nice whiskies. So yeah, if you if you like your sherry, 
finishes, yeah, well, not finishes, it's just matured in Sherry Cast. The Glendronic is, is one of the ways to go because everything that they do is in Sherry, along with the. Um, Much like us with our wine cast. Yes, exactly. We get a, exactly. a lovely sweetness from our. our well, uh, when, we release, <laughs> when we release the next one, um, what are we doing first? 6.1 or 8? 6.1. 6.1. So, 6.1. Uh, uh, a lot of you will know we've released edition 6. Um, and we're going to be. You tell them, or we want me to tell you them? You've gone. Should you, I tell You them? should tell them. Yeah, you, you seem to be stuttering. You've said a lot about Glendronach. Uh, you won't. Well, uh, I am. Anyway, I'm um, going to have a drink. <laughs> six, number six edition was in a Rib Salts cask. That's a heavy red wine cask from uh, France. And it. I just felt I'd like to experiment a little bit so i had a fortified wine cast heavy fortified wine cast from uh, yolumba distill uh, winery and i bottled half of the rib salts cask from france and i put the rest it, this you, was uh, a brew cladi distill, distillation by if the you way. go on facebook there's pictures of him delivering the cask up to Rucladi. Uh, yes uh, 18 months ago oh, there right yellow <clears throat> Oh, yes. Which is sold now because we can't afford it. I've told the body go anywhere in it. Well, another, that's another shilling oh, in, in meat. <laughs> um, so, we bottled half of it and we got 200 and odd bottles out of it. And the other half I put in this 45, uh, fortified wine cask. So, it, the fortified wine Remember. is a heavy wine uh, it, it goes more like uh, sherry or portish and that's why they, they keep it longer in these small these very small casts 100 liters so we transferred it into this uh, 100 liter cask and I wanted to bottle it last September after it had been in just over 12 months couldn't get it out of Rucladi again so I've had it sent down to another warehouse uh, it's being in transit at this uh, this particular moment. Now it's stuck in a warehouse somewhere, but it's en route to uh, another warehouse in uh, near Newton Stewart, and that's going to be bottled. And we'll be coming out with 6.1. We're going to call it because it's you know uh, not dissimilar to the number six. It's from the same cast, and I'm just hoping it's just enhanced it enough. Uh, to show a difference in it. It had a sharpness did number six, not picked up by everybody, but I could just feel a little sharpness and that's why I wanted to put it we, in this. We were tasting it cast strength though. We so were, we were cast, yes, that's right, so we were. We dropped number six <coughs> down to 50.4%. Um, that can be bought um, online as well if you want. Just come and order it, or, you know, send off for it whatever you do online what they do online buy it buy it that's main thing <laughs> just buy it <coughs> it helps job because we shut you know i don't know if i've told you but we shut because of this covid job um it's a bit of a bugger isn't it anyway it's just a big bugger <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's two more yeah, no, part, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. um so 6.1 is oh, no. due out and that's the history of it. It's been put in a fortified wine cast for another 12, well actually it's ended up 18 months. And we are now uh, at the point of bottling it in the next few weeks. Along with number eight, which will be coming out, the Viognier cask from Aaron. Uh, another beautiful uh, distillery, makes some beautiful uh, spirit and We've been very fortunate. I'm about 14 or 15 casts in uh, Aaron. So, all in total, we were about 50 or 60 casts throughout Scotland, and they're all coming to uh, maturing very nicely. And you will be the first people to know about it. Uh, yeah, what we're doing on our website. Thinking of doing, um, unfortunately, it's looking like we're not going to be open anytime soon, and even if we can open, we're not going to be able to do a whiskey tasting with y'all. Um, all weddings, all our bags are out on the mission. Mm -hmm. so, no, there, there we go. Um, yeah, so um, what we're probably planning on doing is obviously another tasting uh, towards the end of February. Uh, we'll release details as soon as we know anything. 
Um, but again, we'll we'll probably do the same format. Um, we'll we'll do the um, tipsy porridge uh, with edition uh, six, and I also will um, hopefully do the uh, the same. Oh, I've lost my bloody way. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's gone. It's gone. It's, it's the whiskey. Yes, it's the whiskey. Just, uh, just blend. But well, no, the, yeah. uh, we, we we are planning on doing another whiskey tasting. Um, yes. If we it's said we'd do in. another in a month, hands up, who'd come? <laughs> you can't put your hands up. No, two. There's, no, two, there's two. two. There's two. There's two. two. Uh, uh, that's uh, it. Yes, that's it. That's two. Yeah. Good. Ah. Good. Put now, a thumbs up thing on you. I'm glad you, uh, you've been enjoying it so far, you two, have you? These are the only two people I can see. So everybody's thumbs up. Oh. Yes, great. Oh, that's good. Right, well, it's going to be worldwide. There'll be 2,000 people on that, <laughs> that next one. I hope we're big enough screens. Well, we need a big room. Get y'all on. <laughs> we'll probably do it in big room, James. Just we could do, room. yeah. We could sit on a big screen, that's it. That's yeah. It. <laughs> um, anyway, we aren't whiskey experts, you know. We just we keep know. stressing this. This fella is, well, he was. Bye, Eck. And if anybody can ju uh, guess who that is, so well, Roger Moore. Uh, <laughs> he's in. Uh, I don't know where he is. He's, 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 he's in a grave. He's, 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 <laughs> he's, 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 <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, I like Roger Moore. I you? did. I like. He was I my like, favourite Bond. Were he? He reminds. Well, I grew up with Roger. Yeah. You, like, you, you grew up with Sean. Sean. <laughs> Sean. Well, he's dead too. Isn't he? Yeah. 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 They're all, they're all popular. Well, they're all going. There's that. Then the well, before the next one's released, will they, Craig? I know, they're coming back, aren't they? Bugger yeah, yeah. me. Yeah, they are. No. Put another one in, that would bugger me. Okay. <laughs> um, right. Um, what are we on, James? Uh, I beg. I beg and all. Oh, oh, and and all. And all. That's it. Yeah. Is this last one? This is the last one. Is We're it? only doing five. So this is. This is, we're only doing five on this occasion. Oh, Usually, I'd have whisked the tins. I thought we were coming here for six. Well, you have really. Told you anything you, about you this. had the Isle of Marley 2012. Oh, we did, didn't we? Yeah. Well, so well, you've had six. Yeah, we did. Everyone else has lost out. And that's that's oh. his fault. Fucker. <coughs> ah, well, that's all right. I can I can recommend the Isle of Marley number twelve, uh, two thousand and twelve, which is available on the website. It is. It's all available, and you can have it by the drum as well if you want. No. Oh. Forget the drum, and the drum is 50 mil. Okay, oh, yeah, our drum's 50 mil. Our drum that we send out to you is 50 mil, not 30 mil, like not other 30 like you've got tonight. Uh, it's companies. 50 mil. <laughs> Have you got that? 5 0 ml. <laughs> I'm getting into this, I think it's good. <laughs> I am. The director's telling us to carry on. Right. Um, yeah, I know. She just said it to me. I've got, I've got one of them ear pieces. You can't see it. No, you're just hearing things. Is that what it is? That's me. It must be. Uh, dear me. Uh, I beg you for I need a bit. I know. Even. I know. You know I like to say I know. We've got a beautiful man, fire over there and it needs somebody around us. So the sooner we can finish, I can get around that fire with another drum and just oh, settle like, down quietly. You know? <laughs> anyway, I hope you've really enjoyed this. Believe it or believe it not, James and I have. Because we can. As soon as we switch off, just say, oh, thank Christ. <laughs> Absolutely. Eh? Absolutely. Well, I'm not normally here. I'm uh, normally sat here. Listen, for religious people, you better put another oh, 50p in there, yeah. don't you? I've got two 50p, I'll say Christ again. Oh, oh see it again. <laughs> there we go. Might as well just write a check to the hospital. <laughs> Well, anyway, <coughs> um, what are we on now? Arbeg. Arbeg, come on, Cheers. tell us about it. Cheers everybody, this is your last drum. I hope you've enjoyed it. It sounds like, well these two here, they, she's falling off chair is Elizabeth <laughs> now, and uh, Joanne, she sat on couch so she can't fall anywhere. So that's alright. That's it, uh, yeah, we, we're all good. I think we're all good. Yeah, we are. Um, Arbeg. Beautiful, beautiful little distillery set right on the coast on Isla there. Um, it's a top distillery of three distilleries in a row. You get Lafroig, you get Lagavulin, and then you get Ardbeg. Ardbeg was virtually bankrupt and mothballing up till 1998. And then it was bought by um, 
Glen Morangy. Glen Morangy. Glen Morangy. And uh, who in turn is owned by LVMH. Well, they then were again then taken over a few years later by LVMH. Louis Vuitton. Well, it was, Moy Moy, it was Moy Hennessy, then it was Louis Vuitton who. Anyway, it's one of the richest com companies in the world. And they've injected some money into Ardbeg, and it will never ever look back. It's got such a distinctive taste. And it's it's an iconic whiskey. Um, I absolutely adore Ardbeg, but it's as I've said many times. There's sometimes I can't. I don't want an Ardbeg. I want a gentle whiskey because I'm in such a gentle mood, <laughs> which isn't often. But there's other times when you just want an Ardbeg, and you can knock it back in one. You don't need to put any water in or anything like that. It's just. But it's, it's one of them. It's a mood drink. Your Ardbeg's and yeah, your your Ardbeg. And sometimes, I most often than not, I can always I can always add, I handle an Ardbeg. But odd times, then you want something a little bit smoother. But yeah, Ardbeg, I can I can. It's my go-to. I think is Ardbeg. Yeah. yeah. So it's a, even the ten year the ten year old's beautiful. Anything that Ardbeg put out, I in my eyes is always just spot on and whatever it, it might be it's just they, they had an edition come out this week and within 10 minutes the distillery had sold out yeah the 25 year old and we didn't get one did we well this this is a sore point with us if you believe it or not the um, I believe it James do you believe it no, I believe it well done um, Always the, nice um, we are not an Arbeg embassy if you believe it or not now we we have oh you can't see it on the screen oh yes yeah, actually you can see to the yeah you can see to the screen no, no, there all that, all that lot there and, and more and that you can't on see still is is, is our our bag bag. available now what I we need you to do is write to our bag and tell them that the fisherman's retreat needs to be an embassy exactly <laughs> okay so email them all our bag distillery Joanne is it no not Joe? no no he just 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 get onto my way that's the best ah, thing. Get on to get on to my way and yeah. say, hey, look, fishermen's are well, the best. Embassy. Come on, best sort yourselves out. Whiskey collections of Ardbeg in the country. Yeah, absolutely. So, so again, the so point for us, we've not been nominated as an Ardbeg, but you know, all these masses of malts and all the other bits. Of, oh, sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't mention names on online. No, oh, so whatever. Um, all them people. Um, uh, uh, you know, embassies and all the rest of it. We we need to get into the embassy situation um, and I'm surprised they've not approached us because we probably one of, the, one of the only places in the UK that can supply you with a shot of majority of, of exclusive of our, our bags, bag. of our bags collection so how many can do that not, not many no, not, not many. many if any if any you know and, 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 we've and to, uh, just one note if anybody has not liked tonight's um, rendition and, and visitation to the fishermen's you don't have to buy another pack ever again you can you know just ignore us in future but we've enjoyed it yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> absolutely yeah i think I'd, well now, anybody this, this is a, a fantastic oh, one to finish on it is yeah it's and a, it's only 39 pounds 50 for tonight only for tonight only it's usually twenty nine fifty, but we try to make it. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. So yeah, no. Um, uh, again, listen, um, there is a pot here, and I would have gone round normally with that for the collection for the COVID thing, but I can't. So send all donations <laughs> to the Fisherman's Retreat for help in the community. I'll put one in. There and we will be yeah. <laughs> put it in. But no, um, I beg you not. Um, are we going to tell them about this or not? Or are we just going to? He normally gets it last whiskey, and no one gives a shy. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I'll put two in for that one. Um, they're all normally uh, well, well oiled off. Well, they're uh, getting ready. Uh, I know she's getting ready. Hey, she's she going to more. Um, what the hell? But uh, <laughs> Yeah, normally by glass whiskey, no one cares what the bloody drinking anyway. They don't. But no, five whiskies, and I don't know if you've been drinking in between, so you might be semi sober or, or absolutely sober. I don't know what's going on. But um, we we hope you've enjoyed yourself. Yeah, absolutely. We have. We have. Yeah, no, it's been nice. And now 
Now, now we're screen. near the finish. That fire keeps shouting, Irvy, come here. Come here, Irvy. So I'm going to it. Ah, beg. If you want to know about our bag, we can post these notes out to you. <laughs> <laughs> and they're very informative. Would you really like me to read them? Yes, of course. Yeah, well, you read them then. Me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Hold on. Here we are. <clears throat> so, our bag and all. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you've got uh, several different cast types, uh, including um, pepper and eth, spicy virgin charred oak, an intense ex bourbon cast. I don't know what intense bourbon cast means because Joanne fell cast. off the couch there. She fell off oh, the couch yeah. then. I saw her. Her husband just picked her back up. Well, you would be. Don't be looking there. <laughs> no. <is it>? Well, <laughs> yes. His yeah. eyes are screwing. Turn your uh, screen off. <laughs> Turn your screen off. <laughs> yes. He's getting me all frustrated, Dad. <laughs> um, she'll have a bloody heart attack. Come on, he said, "Virgin, and you fell off the couch." Uh, <laughs> um, so yes, so uh, well, I don't know where we're up to. Anyway, yes, so I've lost so it. all these all these whiskies are put in um, our bed to be smoked French oak uh, gathering vat, which they've put up there. Um, I know uh, I think was uh, released in 2017 is the uh, latest one in a decade I believe um, and it's, it's really nice actually I, um, I like the 10 year old so anyone who likes 10 year old will like this it's a little bit softer a little bit more rounded but I think you'll enjoy it it's, it's a really nice drop um, and it's great that they put it on the um, uh, on the regular release of everything because I one our big whiskey that I really enjoyed was uh, our big Aaron and Beast and obviously they stopped doing it I, you can still pick it up here though we don't have any unfortunately I picked one up um, uh, a year or so ago uh, at an auction 100 and odd pounds I thought I'll save that and I didn't I drank it um, well, but, that would all good. We could have made money on that. Well, we it, on that. it was. Well, think it, about it's it, just, son. It's beautiful. It, it, uh, the, well, the Aaron and Beast was. But this is as as a run of the mill malt. Uh, I can't see Joanne's husband now. He's gone. <laughs> he's gone. He's gone. No. I don't know where he's gone. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah, just yeah, showing yeah. his hands. Uh, yeah, you can only see his hands. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Uh, anyway, yeah. moving on. Moving on, exactly. Um, good to see you both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take it to the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, they're gone. <laughs> they're gone. They're just gone. Just gone. Um, so yes, uh, I think I think this is a beautiful uh, release. I think it's had enough now. Is that it? Yeah, is that it? it's great. It's beautiful. Oh, Christ, it? we're over an hour. We're, we're over. over. We've you, done it. You've got We've more than it. your money's worth. We've done it. We're I was paid for one hour. Twenty <laughs> p. <laughs> and you've got a nine minutes extra. You anyway, get, yeah, you didn't get your eyes bloody. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Hold on, no, we've got more to do. What are we doing now? We've got to do raffle. Oh, we're doing raffle. You've all got a number. Raffle. A number. Raffle. 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 Oh, raffles. And we've got the state of the art technology. Put it down in Put it in. How can we do that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No, oh, no, you no, won't. I don't know. No, but I don't they're, they're still going. Don't they're still going, aren't they? They're still going at film. I love that. Anyway, who, all right, right, let's say that. Hold on. <coughs> We're on last whiskey. Everyone's a bit. Well, he's a did bit y'all tipsy. enjoy? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Yeah, Elizabeth and Joanne did. Oh, right. And, and Joanne's husband surfaced now. No, oh, there he is. Yeah, yeah, there you go. He's gone back down now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, Christ! Um, oh, here we go. It's Christ. Is yeah, just it. get it's the Christ. balls out, James, and let's <laughs> steady on. Um, right. What? Well, hold on. What's? Uh, what price are we on now? We, we've not given these good people a price. We're waiting for exactly thirty-nine producer. fifty. Thirty-nine fifty. It was twenty-nine, but it's thirty-nine. Yeah. Oh, we did do it, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Christ. Yeah, we did. I forgot. Anyway, okay. So you've all got a number. Um, that look, that made me look professional. <laughs> yeah. um, it's the most professional thing you've exactly, done. Exactly, I know, I thought that. Um, you've all got a number. Uh, and what we're going to do is bring in our state of the art uh, picking machine, which will pick a number. Um, I think we're going to do that now, aren't we? 
<laughs> Damn, damn, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I can't have you seen it? Yeah. I'm playing big old kids in the week. No, you just ruined the surprise. <laughs> no, hold on. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back to No expense was spurred. <laughs> whilst uh, getting this to, uh, you know, work. Yeah, work. Yes. The children showed me how it worked. Um, so I think we spin it round. Um, well, turn it, yeah, we do. We do? Yeah, I played it with him to the wheel. All oh, right. Well, there you go. He knows. I don't. Turn it round and one will Wait. drop out. Is it that way or that way? I don't know. Turn the button. There we go. Oh, we're doing bingo. Oh, whatever it's called. We're, we're raffle job. Raffle job. Oh, hold on. I've got That's some a blank bit. Look at it. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. It's nearly near my favourite number. 66. <clears throat> um. <laughs> Alison McGowan, you have won. Are we ready for this raffle or what? Are we just yeah, well, no do it, do it. I beg. Just what he's been going on about. You've won, you one. won one. Yes. Alison, number 50 of it. Has oh, that been marked down? Here we, we go. Yeah, Alison has won uh, first prize. Do you want to do the second one? Should we keep it here till Alison comes in? <laughs> <laughs> We uh, we're going to we're send it. Well, we can't go out anyway. Can no, we, we can't. And Alison can't. Yeah, Perfect. So that's there. She's stuck inside as well. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm vying for you, oh, Joanne yeah. and uh, Elizabeth. I'm hoping that uh, we get something because I can see you. You know, I might like see joy on your face. Next one is a bottle of Angus uh, Brook, which is uh, Angus Brook. It's like champagne. It's as good as. Yeah, it's made in better. Tasmania. It's by Yellum. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's made in Anguston. Anguston. Yeah, well, Which a slight slip of the tongue, just checking who are listening. <laughs> um, so we'll, we'll go for this one. Hey, How do you do it. that? That's it. State of the art. State we, of the we art. should have had Ellie doing that. She's only seven. Mm -hmm. I didn't think there were a number on that. Then. But, oh, shit. No. <laughs> I'm <mean, laughs> uh, Number 37. 37. Uh, I saw it. it giving it us. 37. Would it? Oh, yeah. Not 73. No. 37. 37. Who's got 37? 37? Hold on, I've got a list. Alison McGowan. Oh no, <laughs> no. shit, that was 66. <laughs> oh crap, hold on, I'm putting another number. your favourite number, no way. <laughs> um, the way this is, 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 is terrible, this way this is laid out. Um, where are we at? What are we at? 37. Sam Mortimer. There you are, Sam. Yeah, yeah, Sam. Happy you've, birthday. You've won that. Well done. You didn't really have to do anything. Do we, well have to, do we have to send it out to them? Is it going to cost us out to send it? Well, hopefully not, because hopefully no, they'll be local and we can deliver again. Yeah. Um, but we have got people throughout the country teaming in to us today, you know. Yes, streaming, yes. streaming, is it called? Yeah, I believe the furthest to feel was Brown's Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, not so. <laughs> I heard Aberdeen at one point. No, in uh, with Aberdeen. York, York and Aberdeen, I think, yeah. Yeah, there are a few. Some down south. Different world, different world. We're all making it to the world next time, so you won't be as... You were very exclusive people having this. You were really exclusive. Well, no, well, I don't think you were done first. Besides you, it's only buggers that pay for it. <laughs> um, no, it's all right. So what we're on next. Number 14. 14, here we are. Andy Ke Oh, Andy! Andy Kelly! Who's Andy Kelly? Oh, he's twice down here. He's 13 and 14. That's a bit of a cheat, isn't it? But he's 13 anyway, so... And he's won. Oh, no, he's 14. 14, here we are. He's won. He's won. Three miniatures. Three miniatures. One of them, an exceptional miniature. It's a brew claddy. Court Charlotte. Is that number five? I think it is, isn't it? I haven't got my glasses. Here we are. Whatever. You've got three, three cracking drams there. Yeah, yeah. They're not water either. They're proper whiskey. And we also. And have you've got a dram glass. No, no, he hasn't. No, he's not. Oh, this is, is the next one. Oh, right. Christ, no, right. He's, not, he, he's not getting that much. <laughs> oh, he nearly lost that one. <laughs> right, last one. This is the last one. They're getting the glass. Yeah, you're getting the glass. Yeah. If just you in case. Matt Gray can't wait there. Just in case. You have to <laughs> Sup it from bottle tonight, you're getting a glass. Uh, oh, number one! Number one! Who's number one! Elizabeth Allen! Who's Elizabeth, Elizabeth Allen? Allen? 
Don't move. Do you know? No, 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 well, we'll no, send no. you that, Elizabeth. No, Not we'll a drop problem. Drop it off one or the other. Or you can come in and collect it when we reopen. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? not you, Elizabeth, is it? No, 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 no. you're Elizabeth Forrest, aren't you? And that's it. I don't that's think it. I don't yeah. think I don't. Oh, I didn't tell you, actually. What Hold did on. you tell us? Hey, up. When it, when it comes to tasting the hard bags. No, oh, don't bring it There we are. Yeah, hard bag. Hard bag, hard bag. We went through all these before we decided to do an hour. So it, it took us a while oh, to it did. which one to hard work. It worked. Hard work. It worked. We, we it got worked. through all these and then realised we didn't have enough. Cross eye. I were too. No, um, cross -eyed. So we just went with an O instead. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're going to sign off, I think, now, are we? I think so. Do you have your out to say? No, right. Okay, okay. he's not. Okay. Mystery guest who will reveal. There you are. There you are. He is. He just. He's got a gun. No bloody use at minutes. Put another one in there. Put another one in there. Another what? Oh, they're bloody hard, right? 10p, uh, whatever you put in. We've, we've got a bit for hospice anyway. Ah, uh, we have. Uh, if you want to donate to very hospice, you, you're you can more do. than welcome. We've, we've raised quite a lot over the last 20 odd years. Um, we're very uh, keen supporters of the hospice and we've got another one now because our little granddaughter had another session in Manchester Children's Hospital and uh, when we revive our uh, whiskey tastings in the big room we're going to send um we're going to start raising a bit for them as well manchester children's hospital saved my granddaughter's life again in december and uh, i'm truly <sighs> fabulous no they're brilliant people yeah brilliant people absolutely they, they did a cracking job so um it's goodbye from him and it's goodbye from him. And we'll see you again. I know we copied that from Corbett's, but... What? What's the director saying? Yeah, the director's a... What to, we, we, we need to turn it off. Why we need to turn, turn it, it off. off. You turn it off. Shall we just leave it on? They can look at Bar all night. Yeah. We've got, we've because got, you can have you look at Sean. <laughs> uh, not Sean, Roger. Leave him here. Roger. You he can keep move. watching Roger. Unless you move him, he won't move. <laughs> Unless you move Yeah, anyway. right. All the very best, everybody. Yes. Happy New Year, and uh -huh. God bless you. And, and I hope you all tuned in. in. Okay. Thank you, Elizabeth, for that oh, round what of applause. Thank um, you, Joanne. The, uh, the, the whiskey tasting, for the next whiskey tasting, will be put on um, the website and on we'll Facebook. We'll do it in a month. Yeah. We'll do it in a month. In a month. We'll on the 30th month. of February. Yeah. 30th of February. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Alex, good night from us. Good night. From the bubble. From the bubble. <laughs>